Greetings, gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a nice little sky dome, kind of like this. Yeah, see, that's a bit of a sky dome. It's just pretend it's not even there. It looks kind of real, though, right? Uh, you're going to need to download an HDRI. There's a lot of websites where you can download these for uh, free. Uh, I'm using one from Daz, uh, Daz Studio. I just bought it. Uh, and I kind of copied it from my dad's uh, folder and uh, it's nice. I like it. It's just a uh, just nice um, Here's how we do this Really simple. So I'm actually using a combination of two things number one I am using easy sky version 2 for my sunlight. You can also use something like uh, ultra dynamic sky But easy sky will set the set the lighting in part. The other thing that will set the lighting in part is your your HDRI bop backdrop Right, so that's what I got here is an HDRI backdrop. That's kind of kind of thing. In order to get an HDRI backdrop, you can just go here and go to lights and go to HDRI backdrop. Uh, once you grab that, you can uh, find your HDRI file. So here's mine. Uh, you're just going to want to drag your HDRI file into your Unreal Engine. Now this is, I think, a .tga file. Is it? I think it's a .tga file. So if you're downloading a uh, a downloading let me just make sure of that um, if you're downloading a HDRI file make sure it's a .tga well mine are now US you alter uh, uh, Unreal Engine assets man learning to talk is hard but yeah it, it was a TGA file a TGA file to start but basically the thing about these HDRI files is they've got kind of lighting baked into them right now I've also got ultra dynamic sky going on uh, sorry not ultra dynamic sky I've got easy sky going on but if I take away easy sky you can see there's still still lighting right still lighting in the scene now um, the lighting doesn't seem to I haven't found a way to make it create shadow yet maybe there's a way but I think in order to create shadow you want like a, an external light source like a like a sunlight so I've got uh, easy sky for that easy guys like a 20 or 25 dollar plug-in it just does everything you need in terms of sky and weather and all that sort of neat stuff so that's a nice nice easy easy way to do it but you can also do this with like a point light like the normal unreal engine way um, but yeah basically your HDRI uh, what you're gonna probably want to do now I've got my HDR set in order to make this look good uh, and here's here's kind of the main point of the video is once you've got your backdrop in in order to make this look good you're gonna want to take a look at the size of it and the size of it, uh, where is that phone? Size, I got mine set to size 20. I think the when I imported it, it was like at one, it's like, it's like one size 170, right? And you can see that that doesn't look that good, <laughs> right? There's some problems there too. Basically, what I did is I just kind of scaled down until I found just the right number that looks looks good for this particular HDRI image. It will probably vary depending on what your HDRI image uh, is resolution-wise and all that sort of stuff. So. Uh, projection center uh, basically there's not much more to it you can play around and tweak all the settings you want and they, they probably all do different things but the, all I did in order to get what I would say is a pretty nice effect all I did super easy <clears throat> is uh, put in my oh by the way you're also going to need to select this as a oh no sorry I'm thinking of something else <clears throat> thinking of something else yeah sky da, ba, ba, something SSL captured scene yeah, I think it's, you know, just out, out of the gate. Cube map, HDRI backdrop, and then you drop in your sunshine to create those shadows because I couldn't find a way to do that myself. And then set the size to whatever you need and you get a very nice result. So, uh, very simple, not much to this video, but took me a long time to figure out uh, what actually only takes about one minute to do when you know how. So I thought I'd just make a video showing you the quick way. Okay, see you later.